All right, we're talking hamstring injury prevention. Hamstring strains are very common among athletes in track and other sports that involve running at high speed. Sprinting places a high demand on the hamstrings because they play a role in hip extension during each foot plant and then are also responsible for pulling the foot up under the butt during the swing phase. So they have this dual responsibility, which is why they are the first muscles to fatigue during a sprint. Combine that with having to generate a lot of tension at really high speed, and you have a recipe for a muscle strain. Now there's three tools for reducing injury risk. Proper mechanics, flexibility, and strength. Now I'm going to leave it to the track coaches to teach proper sprint technique. For flexibility, there's no mystery. You just got to stretch. The goal should be to pass this test. Straight legs, palms on the ground. For more info, check my hamstring stretches video. Now the main thing I want to talk about is how to strengthen the hamstrings. A lot of people preach glute ham raises for hamstring development, mostly just because they're really hard. But why are they hard? It's not because the hamstrings are generating some super high muscle tension. It's because they're working in a shortened position, which is a weak position for a muscle. Oh, but the EMG results are really good. Yeah, it's a single joint exercise, it's a non-functional loading scenario with the body horizontal, you're locked into a machine, and the target muscles are in a weak position. Those factors always produce higher voltages in a muscle. Tricep kickbacks produce higher voltages in the triceps than dips. Knee extensions produce higher voltages in the quads than squats. Higher voltages do not necessarily indicate higher muscle tension, and they certainly do not always indicate the best way to strengthen. You can't put too much stock in EMG results. So let's just look at mechanics. One thing that is universally true is that working muscles in a lengthened position is good. That's why we go all the way down on pull-ups. That's why we do full squats instead of half squats. Glute ham raises do not lengthen the hamstrings because the hips stay extended, and that's a problem. Now you can do a back extension into a glute ham raise. That lengthens the hamstrings, but when you get down here, there's very little resistance because gravity is pulling straight down and the torso is swinging in this direction. So yes, this lengthens the hamstrings, but it doesn't really work them very much. Now we also know that for athletes, free weight functional exercises are better than being locked into a machine. Again, the glute ham raise falls short. So what's the best option to strengthen the hamstrings? the stiff leg deadlift. This is deadlift, the most functional exercise of all, modified to target the hamstrings. They get thoroughly lengthened because the knees are extended and the hips flex. And while they're lengthened, the weight is pulling directly against the rotation of the torso. The hamstrings have to generate extremely high tension to overcome that resistance. The functionality, the great range of motion, and the extremely high muscle tension those factors are what make this exercise great and separate it from glute ham raises or hamstring curls for that matter. Stiff leg deadlift is absolutely the best exercise for athletes who need to strengthen their hamstrings. There isn't even a discussion to be had. Now some details. This is called deadlift, but the weight does not need to touch the ground every time. Take it down until you feel a good hamstring stretch, then go back up. That will create a very high peak muscle tension in the hamstrings as you stop the weight that's good. Now if you have flexible hamstrings you'll be able to take this all the way to the floor that's fine but realize that it does significantly reduce the tension at the bottom. Now, you can intentionally stop short of the floor or you can focus on arching your back and pinching your shoulder blades that should allow you to get the hamstring stretch before the weight hits the floor. Lastly I just want to point out that this exercise is great for the hamstrings because it puts a lot of stress on the hamstrings. With that in mind, you don't want to introduce stiff leg deadlift during track season when you have to sprint a lot. Put in work with it during the off season so that your hamstrings are already accustomed to high stress and fully prepared for the season.